Good morning guys and welcome to the pretty cool vlog where we show you things that we think are pretty cool. I, I think we're gonna go out. Yeah, I think we're gonna go out to St. Augustine, the oldest city, the oldest city that I know of. It's a pretty old one. Everything has started opening up. So it's a little weird because we've almost started getting used to things being closed. We're gonna see, we've got our, uh, we've got our masks wearing those out today. Uh, and it's a little cloudy, so you know, at least it's not gonna be super hot or anything, or it might still be hot. It, it probably will still be hot, but anyways, let's go check out the oldest city in the US, I think. I never really know, but it's, it's old. Let's go see what's open. All right, so we're, we are on our way to St. Augustine and the weather looks pretty good. So that should make for a, a nice day. Nice walk, you know, for the outdoor areas that, uh, that makes up a lot of St. Augustine, so should be pretty good. St. Augustine, we stopped in the, uh, what you call it? Parking garage. Yeah, that's what this thing is. A parking garage. Anyways, uh, so we came here. I don't know if it's because it's Memorial Day or if it's because it's just now opening, but it's usually, you gotta pay to park here, but not now. No charge. You can see the uh, parking garage is pretty empty. There's like nobody here. How weird is that? Hmm. It is still raining a little bit. I mean, it's not really raining, but it's definitely wet. Watch your step. A little bit of an incline there, but I mean, it looks nice. It feels nice. It's not too hot or anything, but see, there's no kids playing on the park there. Oh, it's that park is still closed. I see a yellow sign out there. I don't know if that's saying the park is closed, but it might be, or it could be that's just that it's raining. Yeah, right across from the old parking garage. Got the St. Augustine Civic Center here. This is where the bathrooms are. Luckily, they are open right now, but check out this really neat mural down here. Gotta say, that's pretty cool. Check this out. This is a pretty neat thing here. This is the Fuente de los Caños de San Francisco. It's a crazy weird fountain right here. How weird is that? These guys are Look at the purple and green and stuff in there. That's pretty interesting. But yeah, they're just, just... Just doing that. It's one of the interesting things in St. Augustine. Definitely an eclectic place. Oh, well, looky here. Here's Potter's. America's first wax museum. A really old building. Pretty cool. Authentic old drugstore from 1886. But you can see they're open. Yeah, it's still raining a little bit, but you know what? It just wouldn't be a trip to St. Augustine Without a stop, an old Harry's Seafood Bar and Grill. And even here at Harry's, we're practicing our guidelines. Here we've got our arrows pointing us which way and got our lines showing us where to stop at. I know this lady, I'm with her, so I can, I can stand with her. Tell you what, this weather makes everything look beautiful, but it's difficult to sit out here in the courtyard and eat. Yeah, everything's pretty wet. It'd be fairly uncomfortable out here, but man, it, it, isn't it beautiful out here? Look at this place. Oh, it's so cool. Look at these awesome trees with their pretty flowers. Yeah, that's interesting also. But anyways, we got a little bit of a wait. Uh, we're gonna get some drinks. Uh, Jessica's actually inside getting some drinks for us to sip on while we're waiting. See that blue trash can over there? That's filled with umbrellas. That's pretty nice of them. I, I realize it's raining, I guess, so uh, you know, if somebody didn't bring an umbrella, they've got some for you. I don't, I don't know if they've been sanitized though, if, if that's a thing, but maybe you gotta take your chances. You wanna get wet or get sick. That's, that's not cool. What is it, elderflower? 
Yes. <laughs> she told me ahead of time. Ugh, my hair. It's really good. Yeah, it's really humid out here, so our hair is. Oh, God. Look at this. <laughs> I'm not gonna. Yeah. All right, we've been seated for a minute, ordered some food, and of course we have to show it because here it is. We did get the some sort of dip. I don't even know what dip this is. This is the Louisiana fondue. There's something in there, Louisiana style, and of course these beautiful boudin balls. I'm, you've seen that before. Anyways, we'll throw a link in the, the video from before, right up around here, that shows boudin balls and all of their glory. This is in no way, shape, or form a food or restaurant review, but this place is awesome. You can see why we come here a lot. This is Harry's in St. Augustine. This is a uh, andouille crusted, encrusted grouper. Yep. And then she got the uh, the shrimp and scallops, like Orleans. Yes. Yeah. Got a side of red beans and rice. Same with me. Anyways, we're gonna eat. Not only is this food flippin' delicious, but because of all the social distancing and everything, we pretty much got this whole little sunroom thing all to ourselves. I kind of like it. Thanks, Harry. That was pretty good. Let's go see what else we can find that's open here in Old St. Augustine. I'll tell you, it's not that busy as far as like people goes. But there's a lot of cars around. Parking lots are pretty full, like that over there. But aren't these streets cool? It's like these old like brick streets, and they're real, they're real narrow. You know, not really made for today's vehicles. But I think it's a two-way street. It just doesn't have room for two ways. Well, looky there. Yeah, parking lots pretty full way back in there, but. It's weird walking down the streets. There's really not that many people. Maybe they're all in the restaurants. Maybe. Definitely not on, on, on the street. Did I say all that right? They're definitely not all out. I still can't do it. They're definitely not all out on the street. But right here at the old Columbia house, these guys are open. It's a neat building, but they are open. And St. George Street is pretty much kicking, as usual. Lots of people. We stepped over to this little plaza type area, which is neat, right? And right here we're learning that this is actually the oldest public space in America, laid out by Spanish royal ordinances in 1573. That's a long time ago, which explains a little bit of these cannons. Man, this place is cool. So old and totally Florida looking. But these oak trees and squirrels. Look at that squirrel. See that squirrel? Look at him. This little building here is kind of interesting. It's an old market building from 1605 to 1765. There was a guard house and watchtower and under British rule, it became the market and place of public auction ever since called the slave market. Yeah, history's not all rainbows and cupcakes. Well, we're waiting here on old St. George Street. We're gonna go over to Prohibition Kitchen over there as soon as our table's ready. But right now it's not ready yet. And it's raining, but we did find a little bit of a little bit of cover to get up underneath while it's raining. Did I mention that? It's raining. Well, we made it inside to Prohibition Kitchen. It's a pretty cool looking place, right? It's pretty neat. Although the bar is closed right now. Check these lights out. Prohibition Kitchen was pretty good, but look up there. Here's the old medieval torture collection with some medieval torturist. But it has cleared out. It's not as busy as it was. But still a lot of people, I gotta say. Kinda, sorta. The weather's nice though. Stores are open. Got people wearing their masks and 
you know, some people, not everybody, but, you know, feels good. Feels good to be out. It's still raining a little bit. I think we're going to get ourselves a little bit of coffee here. The Crucial Coffee Cafe. This place looks really cool. It's got my vote. I think we're going to go in. Well, they were cash only, so that's a kind of a fail, so they call it. But So I think we're going to go to another place. City Perks, I think. Yeah, City Perks, just down the way here. We're going to get some coffee from them if their Wi-Fi is up because the old, that place, the Wi-Fi went down just now so we couldn't, couldn't do it. Look at there. It's the fort. That's pretty cool. Can't tell if it's open, but there's people over there. What a neat place this is. Not many towns I know of that have a fort. Well, I mean, actually, there's a couple. There's the old St. Augustine Pirate and Treasure Museum. That place has got some stuff piratey and whatnot right across from the old fort just for the record made it to city perks coffee oh look oh, oh that was weird looking welcome to city perks for the coffee at fort alley in st augustine florida look at how fancy and pretty it looks and that cookie off there to the side it's gonna be the best part i think oh Right. Well, that's pretty much uh, St. Augustine today. There was a few things around. Look, there's the old, one of the old, what do you call them? Cemeteries. That's what it is. One of the old cemeteries, haunted probably. Lots of haunts here in St. Augustine. It's an old town, so I think that just comes with the territory. Haunts. Like it wasn't too crazy or anything. Like, uh, you know, people weren't getting all up in your business. People were keeping their distance away from everybody. Being... <sighs> it is hard to breathe in these things sometimes when you're trying to talk a lot and do this vlogging thing. But other than that, it's fine. If I wasn't talking constantly, I'd be fine. But when I try to exuberate, is that a word? If I try to exuberate my words, and what I'm doing gets me out of breath a little bit. But other than that, it's okay. I understand. I'm going to do it. I'm going to keep doing it until I am told that everything's all right. But for now, that's it. This is our first time being out. How about that? Like since all this craziness. This is our first time actually going out, out. Like going to a place with people. So it's been uh, interesting and pretty cool, I guess, eh? It was, it was good felt nice it was really nice to be able to actually get out anyways we'll see you guys in the next one as far as we're concerned yeah <laughs> that's pretty cool